Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a great day. My name is Beckett and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to farm five different named gear items that you need for any build. It's going to pump up your DPS and do amazing things for you. So if you do not have these items in your build, you need to add them in today. But before we get started, if you could hit that sub and if you end up liking this video, go ahead and hit that like. I really appreciate it. So let's get into this. Today I'm going to be showing you where to farm these named items, when to farm them, and the most efficient ways so we can get the best value out of your time so you can move on to farming your next god roll or whatever build it may be. I'm also going to be showing you ways to enhance that build to make it better than it already is by adding these special effects that come on to these named items. And since they're not gear pieces or exotics and they're just by themselves, they can add a lot of damage potential that you never knew that you could have. So let me give you an example we're gonna pull up our map right now so let's say I wanted to farm and if you guys didn't know you can hit R on PC I don't know what it is on consoles but you hit R and it shows targeted loot so in targeted loot areas whatever is in that area is more likely to drop so as you can see down here in the bottom we have Providence so if I go there and farm whatever activity whatever I do it's like about 50% of the things I get are going to be Providence gear set. So if I wanted to farm, there's a chess piece called Perfect Glass Cannon that gives you 30% damage, but you take 60% more damage, you know? So if I wanted to farm that, the first thing I would want to do is, is go to there, but there's a kind of like caveat. We don't, we don't want to go to small areas. So if Providence was in this little tiny area. I always forget what, it, what it's called. In the Federal Triangle. It wouldn't be really worth us to farm it that day. We'd probably want to go farm a different thing. Let's say Providence was over in West Potomac. We would want to farm that and just grind out until we got that piece. The order in which we want to do things is Summit. Uh, right now, unless they nerf the loot that's going on because there is so much loot and I feel like it's less rainbow loot in there. I don't know if they're tweaking things more in the Summit than they are in the open world and they're continuing to fix that stuff. But we don't know. But if Providence was there, I would go there first. And then I would do activities and stuff like that in an open area. And then missions. And then that, that that's pretty much it. And if it's a small area or it's just... Usually if it's a mission, I won't even mess with it. I would just go on to something else. Because the missions, what, you get like five or six drops. It's really not worth it. Just stay in these big areas like West Potomac. Something that's really heavy populated. Very dense. You can go foggy bottom, stuff like that. If you are doing missions, do missions uh, that are invaded because they have a lot more bosses and it's a lot more loot potential. Now that we know all that information, now we can get in and start farming these items. So let's get into these items and we can start showcasing off all these new named Well, they're not new named items. They've been in the game for a long time. They used to be a lot more overpowered, but they are extremely OP today. All right, so the first one. Fox Bear is probably one of the best knee pads. Uh, if you're running a red build, you need these knee pads. Uh, they do it out of cover damage is its own multiplier by itself. So you're going to do all that extra damage. And if you can get a great roll, awesome. Don't worry what it says, 10 rifle damage. We just care about that plus 8 damage to target out of cover. I'm pretty sure that is the only armor piece in the game. There might be an exotic that does it but I'm not sure but I think that's the only piece of gear in the game that you can get with damage to target out of cover so if you're running an SMG running gun build just a regular red build this is a great addition and it's overlords armaments so it's that sword in the sky so if you ever see that in targeted loot like I said stick to the dense areas stick to the summit if it's on those days if it's not skip and move on to the next one all right next one we got Firm handshake. This is amazing. I, I love these gloves and I was actually using them for my Eclipse protocol right before TU11 build. I was using a technician so I, I could have that extra armor so I was a little more chunky and legendary and stuff like that. Encounters. This is amazing. Gloves that come with 15% status effects. Don't worry about the red in there. That status effects is amazing. The SMG damage doesn't even matter. This does more damage than another named item that we're going to go to in the next list and it has more status effects which i i don't understand but i'm not gonna argue with it all right the next one we have oh i'm sorry <laughs> and this is soklov so this is the smg the little bird go farm soklov you, you probably see them everywhere 
Next one is Punch Drunk. This is a mask, and this is amazing for headshot builds. You can use this a lot of like rifle builds, but pretty much any AR headshot build, this will do amazing. 20% headshot damage right out the gate. Max, you can't get that on any other mask unless it's a gear set. And that's about it. You can see my roll is completely terrible. It was the first one I got and I was excited. So I put it in my bank. I didn't even care. I was like, maybe I can reroll something. Who knows? We might be able to make it work. You never know. All right, on to the next item, Anarchist Cookbook. This was an item I was using too with my Eclipse protocol before I started using Firm Handshake. And I don't know why I got more DPS from that because this has more status effects, skill damage, all that stuff. I think it was cause, oh yeah, I remember cause the gear set. Cause you get the backpack, you already get a, a, a pretty kick-ass talent for the backpack. With those gloves, I was doing that much extra damage. This backpack is amazing. I ended up getting a pretty good roll. It already had status effects on it. And I just uh, re-rolled skill damage. You have the armor. So if you're in technician with Eclipse protocol, you can be a little more tanky and just putting out that crazy dot damage. And plus, Golan comes with 10% status effects out the gate. So if you're running a starter status effects build, this is a must-have backpack. With the talent perfectly wicked, applying the status effects increases total weapon damage by 18% for 27 seconds. So you can imagine where this can come into effect and what you can do with it. You can run hybrids, other things like that. And the last one on our list, combined arms. This is, a, I'm sorry, not combined arms. Combined arms is a talent. Force multiplier is the backpack. I love turret builds. They're really fun to play with the harmony. You use skill damage and you really don't need that much and you can, you can build it fairly quickly. If you want to take a look at that build, I have it on my channel. Somewhere I'll leave a link and let you guys look at that. This one didn't roll that great. We got the skill haste. That's awesome. Hannah Yu, great set for, uh, Especially starter builds, skill damage builds. Awesome set. I love it. This didn't roll that great, but it came with perfect combined iron. Shooting an enemy increases total skill damage by 30 seconds for 3 seconds. So it's kind of like a hybrid. You use this with Harmony and you just, you have in sync. You have combined arms rolling. You have tech support. Well, you can't use tech support. Uh, what, whatever the other, oh, glass cannon rolling. So you're doing massive damage. You just got to keep those shots up. And it's a really fun build to play. And your turrets go crazy and you go crazy with your harmony. And they're both hitting like a truck. It's very fun builds. But that's all I got for the named items. If you guys want me to do another list like this, whether it's more gear items, weapons, whatever it may be, go ahead and hit a like. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.